I'm put up with changes Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light I wanna be weightless Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Hey guys, welcome back. Today I thought I would do a video going over all of our font options that we have for our script stickers. So I can't remember where I saw this, but it was another one of the, um, it was a larger planner shop. It may have been Planner Kate maybe that I saw all of them laid down. And I thought this was a great idea to kind of show you sizing for the different, um, fonts and kind of what they would look like on an hourly layout since most people are familiar with that layout and it does have lines on it so um, these are the fonts I'm going to go into these in more detail but um, as you can see like f4 is a very tall font f5 is skinny and you know or uh, short but wide <coughs> excuse me and then these are the planner girl fonts that we carry and this is our fc12 so our font 12 um, that we are using in our kits for 2022 so this is what we are going to go over today i'm going to go over all of them in detail and i thought it would be a nice little intro video for me to be able to reference to people that are not familiar with our shop and are getting overwhelmed by the options so I'm going to try to do these numerically. I think I have them laid out correctly, but you know, bear with me if not. So I use the word this week for all of the samples that I'm going to show just because we have all of them available in all of the fonts and I had stock of all of the colors. So that kind of made it a little bit easier for me that way. So this is font one. Um, I made up this sheet for myself before I started getting everything ready for the video so that I wouldn't have to ruin stickers to take off um, the sheet, ruin a whole sheet. But this is what F1 is cut like. So this is a great header font. It's not um, kiss cut around all the little curves and bumps. Honestly, with this being an all caps lock font anyway, there aren't a lot of curves or bumps. So that is what that is cut like. And so all of our fonts, our script fonts, most, I should say most of our script fonts are available in multiple color options. So, you know what, I made this whole thing about, I have all the colors in stock and I don't have, <laughs> I don't have a clear for this one to show you, but hang tight, we'll go over the clear stickers next. So, each of our fonts come in black, gray, rainbow, and muted rainbow color options. So the gray is just, it's a very dark gray. It is smoky in color. Um, so it is great if you are one of those people that don't like the starkness of a black on white sticker. So that is a great option for that. So that is what the smoky gray looks like. Hopefully the color is coming across okay. Like I said, it is a very dark gray, but it is softer than your black option. And then this is in the rainbow sheet. So dependent on how many stickers or how many rows will fit on a sheet, those are the colors that we pull from. So this one with it being like a flatter font, um, we were able to pull a lot of the different color options. This might actually be all of the ones available for the rainbow. But so as a, a font gets taller or a word gets bigger, there's less colors that we can fit on a sheet. So not all of them will have, you know, three rows of red or three rows of green or three rows of blue, etc. But that gives you a great idea of what the rainbow colorway looks like. And then this is the muted colorway. So again, um, you may not have two options of blue and pink or four options of, I say blue, purple or pink or four options of blue dependent on the size of the word and how many rows we can fit on a sheet. But that is what F1 in the muted rainbow looks like. Okay, next up is F2. I do have a clear one for this so that you can kind of see what that looks like. This is F2. It, um, it is a font. It's not hand lettered, but it has a very natural lettering feel to it. The baseline is bouncy, so you've got some of the letters that hang below the baseline and some that come up like the I. 
Um, this font does get a little hard to read when doing custom scripts and using capital letters. So just kind of keep that in mind. So this is a black sheet. And this is a smoky gray sheet. I feel like this font, you can see the difference between the black and the gray much better. And then this is the rainbow option. So see this one only has two of the red option, um, three blues, two purples, and two pinks. So you can kind of get where I'm coming with that on it. This is a nice thick font. Some of the yellows in some of the smaller fonts get a little bit harder to read, but this has some great thickness to the lettering. So it comes across really well and it can be used legibly. All right, so this is the muted rainbow option for F2. And this is the clear. So for our scripts, when we offer the clear, we only offer black on them and that's for legibility reasons. So when you print on the, there's only a couple colors that will come across as 100% opaque. Black is one of them. Um, we run these on our printing press, and our printing press is a five color printing press, which means it has your normal um, black, cyan, magenta, yellow colors that you'll find in digital printers. Um, but ours also has a white. So when you print white, black, 100% magenta, and 100% cyan, they will come across as 100% opaque. Um, so this is why we only offer the black on it is because we know that that way when you do, I guess I'll go ahead and we'll ruin this sheet. When you take these off, they are a glossy finish, um, but you can see, you can't see my finger underneath the actual printing on it. So it is completely opaque, which makes it very, very legible. So give me just a second. I need to put this on my desk so I remember to take it out of stock. Okay, so that is the clear stickers. All right, so that takes care of F2. So F3 is this guy. This is one of our original fonts. And as we start to grow and get bigger and you know the font styles kind of change, this is not one that we are planning to take out of the shop anytime soon. It's a great seller. Um, and it's a fun font without being difficult to read. So this font, you can tell, it utilizes capital and lowercase letters. Um, this, but it's all typed in as lowercase. When you, you know, type in this week, we did not use any capital letters in this. So that is a set part of this font. Hold on. I'm gonna let that cutter pick up the paper for us. Oh. All right, so. That is what it looks like when you order a custom script with font three. Um, we do not utilize capital letters for that either. So if you were to do a capital T for this and a capital W for week, it wouldn't look any different than this does. So there's no capital letters utilized, even though some of the characters themselves are actually shaped like capital letters. So that is font three. So this is the black sheet. That is the black on clear sheet and the smoky sheet. So I'll put those next to each other. Spaz is trying to, yep. Are you gonna come up and say hi, Spaz? Hey, can you say hi? Are you being ornery today? Yeah, okay. All right, off you go. Off you go. Okay, so I thought I would show you the black and smoky for that one so you can compare them. So that's the black and that's the smoky gray. All right, and then this is the rainbow colorway for that one. And the muted rainbow for F3. Okay, so moving into F4, this is a very tall font. It's one of our larger fonts. So if you have a smaller planner, this is not the font that I would recommend. If you want something that's script, I would stick with F2 or go with the F12 option. So this is the black sheet of this. One more note about F4s, this is another one that I don't really recommend doing 
the capital letters in. It's just such a big loopy font that you end up wasting a lot of the space. So for instance, like a capital J is going to come up very high above the um, top line and then very far below the bottom line. So you're gonna end up wasting a lot of your sticker sheet real estate by doing that. So just keep that in mind if you do the custom font option. But this is the black sheet. That is what the gray looks like. So there they are again, side by side. And then this is the rainbow colorway. The muted. And then the black on clear. All right, so moving into F5, I generally tend to lean towards print scripts myself, but this is by far my favorite script font that we offer. It's a short and stubby little guy, but it is wide, so longer words will need to be sized down to keep within that 1.5 inch width maximum that we do for the script. So, and here's Spaz again. She's just not gonna take no for an answer. You wanna say hi? Say hi? No? Okay. And stay away, please. Okay, sorry. So here is the black, and the black on clear, and here is the smoky gray option. So let's get that clear out of here, and I'll show you those again. And the rainbow color option for F5, and the muted rainbow for F5. Okay, so now we're gonna move into the Planner Girl option. So this is Jen Plans font. We started carrying this right when it came out. I think it was last year sometime. Um, this is by far one of the more popular fonts. So this is the black on white and the black on clear. The smoky gray color. The rainbow color way. And again, this is more of a thicker print font, so it works well for the lighter colors, along with um, Saray Plans is another good one for those lighter colors. And that is the Muted Rainbow. Okay, and speaking of Saray Plans, she is up next. I actually love this font, but it's a little um, similar to my printing. Of course, hers is like way cuter. So I don't tend to use this one because there's not a lot of distinguishing uh, characteristics between the way she forms her letters and the way I form mine, but it is definitely still one of my favorites. So this is the black Saray Plans, the black on clear. And smoky gray. Guys, I am investing in a new tripod that doesn't bounce so much. I'm, I don't actually talk about it, but I notice it in all the videos and it drives me crazy. So if you've noticed it, I am on it. I've got one ordered that I'm super excited about. And this is the rainbow for Saray plans and then the muted rainbow option. Okay, and last two, which are our newest two. We came out with Julie's plans right around, I believe, Black Friday when she launched it. This is the one I have been using. Um, I like this font a lot. I'm kind of moving into using the um, font 12 now that we've kind of got those and some normal scripts also. But this is Julie's plans black. And this is a Julie's plans gray. And now it is a very thin writing so it's a little bit harder to tell the difference between the two but it is a softer color in the smoky gray this is the rainbow and the muted rainbow and then the black on clear option okay so last up is font 12 this is the font combination, that's why we call it FC12 font combination, um, that is in our kit listings. And so this is what's on like the script sheets, on your monthlies, as your little scripts, etc. Um, and right after we started sneaking the 2022 font 
combination um, layout that we got a lot of requests to list these as well. So we are. However, these ones are only going to be listed as <clears throat> excuse me, black on white. So we're not doing clear and we're not doing the colorways for them. Mainly just because of the logistics of do we make one word red and the other word black? Do we make both words red? You know, the whole nine yards. So um, because we'll be doing a new font for 2023 and changing things up and keeping with the styles, I didn't want to have a ton of stock left over at the end of the year. But with that said, as long as these sell, I'll continue to keep them in the shop beyond 2022. So don't let that hinder you um, from purchasing it. So this is what it looks like up close. And again, it is black on white only. So I wanna bring this planner layout that I did back in just now that you've seen them all so you can kind of compare them. Okay, so that is it for the font video. If you guys have any questions about the fonts, I do get them in messages quite frequently just about what's available, what sizing they are, etc. Feel free to leave messages and questions down in the comment box and I will be happy to answer them. So until next time, everybody have a great week. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down. Could somebody wake me up? I don't want to be here and let the world pass me by. Just see her face wherever I look, she's standing